Hello everyone, this is Michelle Geyer from Riverside Center for Spiritual Living and I am doing a brief Zoom tutorial on how to use Zoom um, to join our Sunday gatherings and our daily morning meditation and prayer. So right now you'll see I am just at our website. I have scrolled down a little bit to the center section here. There are a couple of new things that we've added just recently so you can find our our CSL coronavirus updates with all the latest news information that we have and then on the far right here additional resources and spiritual tools um, that are useful during this time. When you are ready to join either the Zoom uh, Sunday gatherings or the morning meditation and prayers Mondays through Saturdays just come here to one of these two links I am going to go ahead and use the Sunday morning gathering link because I have that set up for our demonstration so I'm going to go ahead and click here and what that will do is take me to um, if it's your first time you will see a uh, <clears throat> notice to download zoom um, and that just downloads the Zoom client. And if you've already done that, you'll get something along these lines where it says open Zoom meetings. And I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. And then it gives you the option to join with video or join without video. I'm gonna go ahead and click join without video right now. And then it gives you the option to join with computer audio or to dial in with a phone call. So here is the phone call tab. There is a whole bunch of there are a whole bunch of numbers here that you could use to call, um, or if you have a microphone and um, speakers set up with your computer, most laptops nowadays have some sort of integrated um, speaker and microphone system. You can use those, and you can just plug in a headset like I've done if you want to. Go ahead and click Join Computer Audio, and then it says I am using computer audio. Generally speaking, for um, our Sunday gatherings, we have everyone muted automatically, um, just so that there isn't crosstalk happening during the gathering. Um, but for our uh, Monday through Saturday um, morning meditations, there are a couple portions during the, those calls that we do open up so that you can share your prayer requests and that sort of thing. All right, so I am in the Zoom meeting now, and I, it's just the, sort of the Hollywood Squares Brady Bunch view that I am looking at right now. You can change that view in the upper right hand corner here where it says, right now it says speaker view, and I can toggle to speaker view. I will see the primary person speaking, and then up top we'll see um, just all the people that are on the call in sort of a little tiny, row of folks up on top. I'm going to go ahead and just switch it back to speaker view for now. To unmute yourself, right here on the lower left, you will see a little uh, microphone looking thing. You just click on that. That unmutes you. You can see right now it's changed that there's a little bit of green there. It can hear me talking. I'm going to go ahead and shut that off. You can also click on start video and that will click on your camera. Right now my camera is being used by another um, program <laughs> doing this screen capture. So you're not seeing me waving at you right there, but that's normally where you would see me. I'm going to go ahead and click stop video. Another nice thing um, that you can do is to be able to see who else is on the call. There is this participants tab right here. That will also allow you to rename yourself. So right now it shows Geyer Ohana because that is my family account that I am logged into right now. I can change that just by simply typing in my name there. Um, you can uh, change your identity as you see fit. I think the other day Marty might have been Thor or something along those lines. So depending on what persona you want to take on that day, um, you can do that. But like you can see here, I've got my iPad logged in and it comes in just by default as iPad 3. So we would love to know who you are and, and who's sharing with us. So please go ahead and um, rename yourself there. Okay, so we did participants, we did mute and unmute, we did start and stop video. 
Okay, here we go. Chat is another great thing, particularly on Sunday mornings. Um, because we do keep everyone muted, if you do want to, to say something or share something with us during the Sunday morning gatherings, you can use the Zoom chat. I will be the one behind the keyboard um, during those Sunday morning gatherings. So if you type a message, I will see it. Um, generally, if it's something important, I'll try to share it out um, to Rev Jeff if there's an appropriate moment that I can do that during. Okay. So let's see what else here. Um, we did mute and unmute. We did start and stop video. We did participants. We did chat. Um, we did speaker view and gallery view. I think those are all the basics, everything that you kind of need to know right off the bat just to get up and running. Um, when you do want to leave the meeting, you can either close out that window or you can come down here to the bottom right where it says leave meeting and click on that. And those are your two options to leave the meeting. And I think that's it. Those are the basics, what you need to know quick, down and dirty, get you what you need to go, know to get up and running. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, website at riversidecsl.org, and I will do my best to help you work through um, whatever questions you have in using Zoom. I have been using this technology for years, so it, I am pretty familiar with it. Um, chances are if you're bumping into something, I've bumped into it before <laughs> and can help you figure that out. So anyway, feel free to reach out and I hope to see you on one of our meetings soon. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.